A lot of designers nowadays, they are uh, focused on uh, domestic uh, products. There is a, a big uh, competition that everyone wants to make the best chair. And I don't understand why. It doesn't add any value to our life. My name is uh, Masood Hassani. Originally, I'm from Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, there are about 10 million landmines. And it's a big problem. So where we lived in, in, in Kabul, there was a big uh, area in front of our house. And there were uh, uh, like uh, hundreds of, of thousands of uh, landmines. And we used to play on those uh, fields. As a kid, you don't listen to your parents. You just want to run around and, uh, and play. And so a lot of accidents happened. My design career started when I was a kid. We used to play with the wind, so we used to make our own uh, toys with paper and all the garbage materials that we found on the street. When I got to the Netherlands, I went to the design school. I realized that there is no progress to clear landmines from uh, the 60s till now. They are using the same technology. They have this uh, metal detector that you walk on the ground with this, you know. That's not necessary. <laughs> It's very dangerous. How can you like, let a person walk with this thing on a minefield? There are so many other ways to, to, to do it. I call this prototype Minecafon. It means let the mines explode. It's moved by the wind and it's meant to explode landmines and deserts. Minecafon is a social project which is meant for local people who live in a dangerous area. It's made from very cheap uh, materials. 175 bamboo legs and biodegradable plastic. But at the same time it's also uh, sophisticated with a GPS chip. We have tested Minecafon a few times with the, with the Dutch army. So we blew the whole Minecafon. And uh, they are very critical about this project. The microphone, when you see it, it is impressive. But you also have to be realistic. I believe it's not useful as a military tool uh, because uh, when you clear a minefield, you have to be sure the minefield is for 99% cleared of mines. The microphone is uh, driven by the wind. You are not sure which direction he is uh, going. So he misses so many mines, you still have to go into the field with a radar or with a mine detector to search a complete area. The rest was well I told them, don't focus on clearing a minefield, focus on humanitarian reasons. You can use a microphone to, to prove uh, there are mines. We have a lot of uh, suspicious areas in the world, in Africa, in Asia. When you see that nation by the microphone, the people know very fast, okay, this is a high threat area. It's a big possibility that this not might work, but we just want to show that there are so many other ways to clear landmines. And now we're trying to raise also awareness about the, this issue. Thanks for having me here. So I want to talk today about a forgotten problem. So this is our playground. And here, this is over here, this is the airport. And all this area is all landmine area. I think the people are interested in this project because it has a personal uh, story and it is a humanitarian project and that l it looks uh, a bit art, but it's not. <laughs> Afghanistan uh, has a history with, uh, with wars. Every day it was also uh, a kind of war zone. Let me check. I've got these memories from our childhood. We have seen uh, our friends uh, getting injured, but there were also some other kids who didn't survive. They just stepped on the mine, they were an explosion. And now I have the possibility as a designer to improve it. Yeah. So in August it will be my first time going back to Afghanistan. We are very excited actually to go back. It's a, a big thing for us to bring Minecafons to Afghanistan and test them over there.
this could be a gift from us <laughs> to our country again, you know. Hopefully it's going to work.